Jessica Burnt. I'm the Director of Styling and Makeup for Style Week Providence. And today I'm going to show you how to do an everyday makeup look using Nuance Beauty Products from Selma Hayek. French lining is a no eyeliner eyeliner technique. Andrea, I want you to look down over here. So, resting your pinky on the cheekbone, push on the eyelid so that the eyelashes flip upward. And then just wiggle the pencil into the root growth of the lashes. This creates definition without that heavy eyeliner look that looks so dated. This just makes you look like you have twice as many eyelashes as your everyday look. When you do this to yourself, have a freestanding mirror on a table and gaze down into the mirror. You want to just push on the lid, resist the urge to pull the eye open as it increases the risk of poking yourself in the eye. And it just creates a really soft, natural line. And today we're going to use the eyeshadow duo in Sheer Plum. Gaze straight past my shoulder and just work this color into the crease of the lid. Now, Andrea has very prominent eyes. They're gorgeous. But we don't want them to look like they're poking out of her head. So we're actually going to bring the crease color down onto her lid some to really just enhance the eye and not the makeup. Don't be afraid to move the brush a lot. The more you move the brush, the softer the application. You don't ever want a heavily made up look. And then we go into this really pretty plum color. You can close your eyes for this. And we're just going to create kind of a sideways V. Plum is a color that is really beautiful at enhancing somebody's natural eye color. It's particularly pretty on green eyes, but really it looks great on everyone unless you have really ruddy skin and then you might want to pick something else. And I have to say, I love the Nuance Mascara. If for no other reason, this tiny brush gives you complete control over where you're applying the mascara. So you wiggle at the roots and then just extend through to the ends and you get beautiful volume, no clumping. When you wiggle, you separate the lashes so you have less concern with clumping. And again, you're drawing emphasis from the eyes, not the makeup. And this is a beautiful trio. You've got your bronzer, your blush, and your highlighter, all in one compact. Andrea's very good about staying out of the sun, but she still likes to look sun-kissed. Take a little bronzer in almost three shape. A little bit of the highlighter. On the tops of the cheekbones. I like a little on the brow bone, hairline, and the cupid's bow, and then a little bit of blush, the apples and the cheeks. Especially when you're slender, you don't want to give up on the blush because it's going to keep you from looking gaunt. Just a little bit of the nuance brightener under her eyes. Andrea was coveting this bright pink lip gloss, so I think we have to put it on. And there you have it. Simple, easy daytime makeup. Makeup where you get to notice the girl and not the colors on her face. And she's going to look beautiful all day. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more tricks and tips from me and the rest of the Style Week Styling and Beauty team. Make sure to check out styleweekprovidence.com to see more interesting things goings on with the Style Week Providence team. And 